everybody welcome again to another episode of fish keeping jamaica welcome to my channel okay so for the past a few shall i say weeks yes i've been focusing on containerizing your fish pond i meaning that you're placing your yeah practically you're, you're building a above ground uh fish pond uh whether for ornamental or uh aquaculture or um the different type of you know spears that you're going to go in and fishing uh whether you're going to be doing tilapia or whether you're going to be doing um uh, ornamental fish okay so today's emphasis is on totes right now you have several different types of totes you have totes that are uh 250 gallon you have 250 gallon you have very large totes. you have very small totes right now i choose to use uh totes uh between 250 and 350 as uh you know as a means of containing my ornamental fish especially the larger ones such as my jack dempsey my tilapia my oscar uh not necessarily larger in the sense that um larger in size but in in, in the amount um i have two ponds with uh emboma cichlids and convict cichlids right um these are the like the two set of fish smaller in size but larger in number so they are in total right other fish such as um light bearers uh chromite cichlids and i think i have some uh some other fish over the other side honestly oh yeah i have yes i have uh the firemouth uh cichlid in which i have not spoken to you about in a uh well from i've actually gotten them but i have to i'm trying to do a little project with them by crossbreeding them with a different type of cichlid so i have not spoken much on that okay so today's video is about uh you know the plastic totes now plastic totes come in comes in uh predominantly white color right um it's different from the tote that you actually purchase at the uh at the the, the, the wholesale or the the, the the garden shop in which you probably store some clothing some person store water in it some persons do all different type of things with these but these totes are really built to actually hold ingredient for a product right so when you see persons with plastic totes uh normally they get them from a factory uh manufacturer which actually produces something whether it be um bulk um chemicals uh whether it be feed like for for uh for fish for for birds for chicken for pigs for horse uh these are used so as to store the different ingredients where it is combined at the factory and it is distributed to the garden store right so i have uh six uh plastic uh 250 gallon tote and uh they house my fish now these are my tilapia cichlids my tilapia cichlids uh what is a little bit green so probably you might not even get to see much of them right all right so i have done uh a few videos preparing my tote for um you know for keeping fish right now in comparison with, with the fish vats that you might get at let's say rhino tanks right um totes are normally uh softer and it's normally uh thinner right so totes if left without water for a very long time um will get uh crispy or uh, should i say it will so in, in jamaican terminology it will dry rot and it will just fall apart unlike the fish vats that you probably might have looked at um in my previous videos uh these fish vats all you need to do is just to turn them down in a cool location and uh next three four five ten years when you actually go back to use them they will be um you know ready to be used now uh totes uh they come with uh well the, the totes in which i use right the, the one from the manufacturer from the from the from the companies they come with uh a metal frame right and the metal frame serves as like a, a protective bone for the for the product that exists in right so the product will be in it 
and um they they will actually use their mechanism so as to get the product out and for some persons they might actually sell it like for example you might have the security selling it you might have the um the, the sales individual selling it. and they sell the containers uh for some i know for, for the for the for the feed manufacturers um days gone by when i got mine they normally prioritize um giving um these stores to farmers that has a uh, large extensive land and they want them to store water so um feed stores normal well feed feed manufacturers such as nutrimix and hyperfeed um they normally prioritize farmers who would use them within the field so they would farmers would have like say uh three or four acres of land and they would actually fill several of them and place them throughout the, the land um through a pipe system and they would use this so as to irrigate their farms right but because the demand for these toads are are, are so high uh, i think some uh manufacturers uh high pro i know for a fact have actually decided to start to charge a small fee for the toads and practically these are just um empty containers they probably you would say that they are being recycled by using for a different purpose than what they originate for right now each thought have a valve and it is through this valve now my my, my thoughts are all turning to a particular direction so probably um yeah you have different valves so this one turns this way right so you have valves which actually um allows the whatever is within it oh by the way thoughts normally um hold liquid right liquid so uh you would have it being um whatever is in the tote would be actually sucked using a pump um into a combined area where it, it you know everything is mixed to form uh, uh the, now uh the tote as i said before it's measured in both um i think it's measured in 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 in, in gallon and it's measured in uh smaller smaller volume smaller measurement right uh it doesn't hide the should i say it, it doesn't block it, it doesn't block out the the the, the 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 rays of the sun that makes um that allows the water to be green unlike the fish vats that i have actually shared with you uh few videos ago i know i did a video where i actually did a comparison between uh fish vats and um toads right so um if there's anything that is missing within this video as far as comparison is concerned you probably can check that out where in which i did a detailed assessment of it now toads are normally between three and a half to uh four feet in height above the ground right vats are normally lower probably about one and a half and in some cases two feet off the ground right now totes are to tell the truth totes are much easier to to transport once you have an open open back truck or van you can easily uh, put two or three of these containers in it and you can get where you're at right uh the vats is a little bit wider so you need a specialized uh what i call it specialized vehicle so as to transport it uh the the, 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 the thought is to me um it's 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 handy it's 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 easy to use and it doesn't really take up as much space as the fish vat right i use it because um some of my fish if not most uh, they love the the green water and so for example i have my goldfish in i have my goldfish in, in in green water right and my goldfish will munch on the green water and they will grow and it's been filtered um yes i've recently cut, moved my my ponds from underneath the tree because it was here a few months ago and somebody came in from the back right um through the bushes and took two of my pumps so um i decided to move everything closer when it's the camera at the back of my yard can actually pick them up all right so in, in closing with regards to the totes right totes are um economically satisfying to persons like me 
um, not really ready yet to actually invest heavy in um, VAT. Uh, in comparison to the price, um, as you can see on the price for the VATs, in which I shared with you a few days ago, uh, the price of the VATs ranges from, and this is like 400 gallon, right? Um, the, the larger one, like the 1000 gallon, uh, VATs would be a, a, probably a little bit more, probably about 20. Now, the smaller ones is about roughly about uh, $10,000, right? The, um, the, 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 the larger one is about probably about 20. Now, these containers, only thing you need to do is to just pay less than a thousand dollars if you get them from the factory and they are yours right so and uh, and i got most of mine um practically free right um in comparison with the fish vat right and as i said before transportation very easy right very very easy now um if you buy them on the roadside however it might be a little bit more costly but still cheaper than the fish vats that you get from let's say um rhino right but at the same time i wouldn't advise buying these thoughts from the roadside because as i said before if left in the sun too long it gets crispy so you hold this and it just break because in the sun no water no liquid is in it so therefore it just get crystallized right um the vats will not be like that they can be in the sun for for months for years and no problem like that if you're purchasing um totes from off the sidewalk you know those persons who would call it hustlers um you have to be very careful because you might purchase it looking good and when you go home it leaks from all different corners thank you very much for stopping by have a wonderful day Peace out.